so we are nearing the end of this season and i'm trying a bit of a different format this time so this is going to be a live commentary that's all you really got to know is i'm playing the game uh while i'm recording because i feel like it would just make it easier uh i am also going to be editing uh the video ever so slightly but not too too much uh just enough to where i can kind of call it like uh, a worthy upload but it'll be very easily edited of course Anyways, we're on the season's last leg. The season is coming to a close soon, and we are officially going back to Chapter 1. I mean, we kind of have known this for a little while now. It hasn't exactly been big news. Epic Games has been teasing the fuck out of it as of the last few days, but we, we kind of have, like, real confirmation now that uh, we are going back to the Chapter 1 map, which has me very excited because I... <laughs> I, I haven't played on Chapter 1 since, obviously, like, obviously 2019, which is a really long time ago, it feels like, but with this upcoming season, there's a couple of questions that I do kind of want to talk about, but I am also going to talk about some of the skins that have officially been teased and talk about some of the teasers, as they're doing it in a very interesting way that I don't really know uh, if it'll be... Uh, what, what am I saying? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool is what I'm saying. So, the teasers that we've gotten today, we've gotten around three of them. The first one showed off a couple of new skins. It looked like we got a sort of, um, mix of Raven and Cuddle Team Leader. We got a mix of, what is it? Uh, we got a mix of Peely and Lil Whip. And then we also got a mix of... Black Knight, and what looks to be Ice King, I don't know how correct that is, but I see, like, little icicles around him, and I just kind of think of Ice King. Like, that's the first character Fortnite skin that I really think of. So, it's interesting to see, uh, for sure, because I don't think anyone really thought that this was what they were gonna do, but it's nice that they are doing it. It reminds me a lot of Season X, and... At least in my opinion, the Season X Battle Pass was very good. So, I'm definitely looking forward to the Season the Battle Pass. I think it's going to be great. Um, we also got to see some of Pleasant Park. We got to see one of the buildings in Pleasant Park. Pleasant Park is my favorite OG map kind of POI. So, I'm very excited to see that we are officially getting Pleasant Park back. Uh, especially, I, I, I love Pleasant Park. It's great. However... With uh, this next season being on the Chapter 1 map, it makes the existence of the Chapter 4 map a little weird, I th like just to say the least, is it makes it feel a little weird. Let me get out of this stronghold before I continue talking so I can, like, you know, actually be focused. Good riddance. But yeah, so we are... Just going to be leaving Chapter 4 in a couple of days here. No event. No really anything. We're just going to be kind of leaving, which I, I... I just... I don't know how to feel. I, I still really don't know how to feel about that. Honestly, I've already said this before, but this map... Honestly, could have been really good if it weren't for the fact that they added the jungle. And then a lot of the updates were a little boring. And there wasn't a lot of mid-season updates or anything of that sort. So it did just kind of come off as very underwhelming by the end of it all which i know a lot of people might disagree with i know several people have said that it's their favorite fortnite map and while i do still think it is better than whatever the hell they were doing with chapter two this chapter definitely still fumbled the bag in a lot of regards and again performance wise this has probably been the worst fortnite chapter of all time now i do kind of want to discuss some of the stuff that will be officially coming back next season because it is very interesting there's a there's a little bit of other news to go over to that doesn't necessarily relate to next season but rather chapter five as a whole but there is still some stuff that i want to go over so hey we're gonna do that now so i already spoke about the season's battle pass you've seen the images on screen i'm assuming if i decided to put them in there but with next season we are getting a bunch of older weapons returning and a bunch of older mobility options and stuff returning so we're gonna be seeing officially the return of shopping carts ballers and planes it's been officially confirmed by epic games themselves today however i do still believe that's going to be a bit more than that in the leaks they talk about atks quad crashers and of course we have drift boards i'm very excited for the return of drift boards because i loved those things they were very fun to just 
ride around on, and I I honestly kind of want to hit a trick shot off of them. I'm playing a bot lobby right now, so that's why I'm not really taking things too seriously, but hey, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm honestly just personally looking forward to, like, having a new season be, like, I don't know, playable on any device. I understand that they're probably remastering the graphics a little bit, but it already looks like it's going to have that classic feel. It already has, like, the older trees, the older houses, all that kind of stuff. So it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. What matters is that we are still going back, and that is the best news at this current moment in time, is that we're going back. So with how this is going to work is we're going to be getting one season, not every week, but every few days. So season five and season six are going to last around a week. But as we wind down to the season, things are going to start speeding up. So like, I think it's once we get around season seven, the map changes are going to start getting faster. And then we're going to get into season nine and it's going to be like, oh, we're here for four days. And then we're going to get into season next and it's going to be like, oh, we're here for three days and that kind of stuff. I know they were talking about how time was going to be accelerating with this season, which was an interesting concept in and of itself. I didn't really understand what it meant. I thought it just meant, oh yeah, this is going to be a fast-paced season. But no, the, like things are literally going to be moving faster according to the leaks, which I'm interested in. I'm very interested to see like what is going to happen with time moving faster. Is it going to be enjoyable? Is it going to be annoying? Is like... How is it going to be? It's only a month of Fortnite, meaning that if it's not that enjoyable and it's a little annoying having to deal with so many changes, that things are going to end after a month anyways. But it is good to know that we are going to be getting weekly changes. I feel like it's going to be a nice change of pace, especially because that's what we've been lacking almost all of Chapter 4. We've gotten new items and such, yeah, but the map mostly stayed the same from season to season. Like, you know, we'd still get those seasonal, like, big point of the interest updates where we would get like you know mega city or this shithole but you know what we never really got anything mid-season which kind of disappointed me and a lot of different people and i feel like it's for very good reason and it honestly disappointed the hell out of me I'm still excited for it, though. I think it's going to be very good. We're going to be seeing an event next season, which will be nice. We haven't had an event in a long time. We are going to be able to play Zero Build on the OG map, which is going to be an interesting experience. But I am very much so looking forward to next season. And you got to let me know if you're looking forward to it, too. I think playing on the old Fortnite map is something a lot of people have been wanting for a while. And I'm personally very excited for it. I've been listening to the OG music. Um, well, when I'm not listening to Five Nights at Freddy's music, because my brain is kind of rotting with the FNAF movie having come out and all that. But it was really good, by the way. But I will be live streaming on Friday. I know, kind of crazy. Uh, I did intend to live stream today, but I kind of just wasn't feeling it. So I'm saving it all for Friday, kind of saving up my energy, and I will see you guys then. Of course, I'll be up all night. I don't know when I'm going to start streaming, but probably near the end of downtime. You will get my trailer reaction still. Don't worry about it. You're going to be getting everything. The whole shebang. Don't worry about it. I'll, I will be there. There will be content from me. And you that's the number one thing you can expect. I'm very excited for next season just because I get to, like, you know make gameplay videos again and obviously the commentary ones in between them but i'm i'm just i'm very excited to be playing next season i am anticipating a very very long queue time so i might not even start streaming until i get into the game itself but no what the that's weird anyways let me know if you enjoyed this little video format it being kind of like live commentary i know i put my little vtuber on there it is something that i will be adding in like gameplay videos and maybe future commentaries who the hell knows but um yeah just let me know if you enjoy it or not uh and make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content i do have a ko-fi where you can send me tips and stuff i will never make it a monthly tier thing because i would feel greedy doing that so if you want to support to ko-fi you absolutely can. I'm not asking you to or anything. I'm just saying that you can. And your name will be featured in the end of videos if you are a supporter. So, yeah, you can always look look forward to that. <laughs> Where is this guy? Oh, there you are. 
Anyways, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next season. Bye.